also uh, had spent uh, quite a long time in the United States as well. So then, uh, when we talked about a few months ago, time goes very fast, that um, it might be interesting to share some of my experience and my views, unofficial view, uh, about modern China. So today, we got the opportunity very glad uh, I'm very glad to meet all of you. And I understand that some of you may go to China on the, on the, on the, on the trip, right? So then I hope this will help you uh, when you go there to look at China with your own eyes. So we don't have too much time today, but then now, uh, as I discussed with Lumen, uh, any topic about China can easily take your lifetime. Uh, I, we, we don't have too many lifetimes <laughs> here, so then I, I thought it would be helpful just to share with you uh, the recent history of China. So, of course, China goes way back, one of the oldest uh, civilizations in the whole world, but then uh, uh, I think what's most exciting is what has happened during the past. 35 years. That is when Deng Xiaoping's economic reform started. But then, to do that, we have to go back a little bit. The question is how far, right? So, then, after this, I'll give you a snapshot of China today. If you live there, it might not be very surprising to you. But then, if you're not there, then I would just want to sort of test what I see from what you imagine may be there because the impression people here uh, get about modern China is probably from the TV, of course from mass media, from what you read, from people you talk to. But then China is such a big country, uh, every day you see something new and I get lost from time to time, because uh, things just happen so fast. And the things happen that, that is happening here very quickly translate into, translate into China, but in a pretty different way. So that is, I think, the most fascinating sort of part of my experience there. We'll, we'll get there. Then, because this is a, the finale of your class, uh, I wanted to end the, uh, the, the course with some fun. Some fun with your language, the, the learning the language and learning the Chinese culture. But we'll get there. Okay, timeline. Uh, for modern China, the most important timeline is, of course, the 1st of October 1949, when uh, Chairman Mao uh, declared the establishment of uh, People's Republic of China. That marked the, uh, the beginning of China today. But then, as you well know, knew very, very well, during the first about 30 years in China's history, then China suffered a great, oh, it became automatic, right? Maybe I'll unplug this. Ah, okay, yeah. So then China suffered a great deal of turmoil based on Mao's leadership until he died in 1989, a couple of years from Deng Xiaoping to the start of the economic reform policy. Of course, Mao and Deng were both very important leaders, but they were very different in their temperament and also in their view of the history. But then, of course, both of them impacted China very importantly, starting from 49 all the way to today. So today's China is a result of a lot of changes since 1949. So I'm sure uh, you have already learned quite a bit about what has happened in China uh, from 49 all the way to today. Uh, I, but what I, what I don't know is uh, how many details sort of have sort of delved into. 
it is the details that is most interesting. So I will not go through all the sort of textbook stuff for you. Can we turn it off for a few minutes? Yes.